Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Mokona Man at YouTube with a, another modeling video. Is another finished uh, project I've uh, got done during my hiatus. There was a large uh, group build in the Gunpla Builders Australia Forum uh, sponsored by Hobbyco and Bandai. Uh, the competition was hosted and run by Ghost of Zeon. And the theme was Forgotten Relics, uh, modeling your kit to resemble something that's been abandoned or lost after a war, uh, battle damage, and a missing limb. The kit I chose was the Gaza C HGUC kit, uh, very early on in the range, 1 to 144 scale, very uh, cheap price. Uh, one I won in a competition, the other I bought extremely cheap second-hand. Uh, I do attend on building uh, both of them, one out of the box and one for this uh, competition. Both kits were snapped and modelled uh, side by side, one uh, with the missing limbs and whatnot. Though this was quite a troublesome kit, has a bit of fitting issues and a lot of transformation and stability issues. There's a tiny peg deep uh, between the hips and the waist that supports the entire weight of the upper body and snaps quite easily. Uh, a couple of pieces broke so I dedicated uh, those components to this uh, group build and the good one to the good mobile suit. The kit was also riddled with lots of very obvious uh, seam lines in very awkward places and some of the long bits are prone to uh, splitting due to its uh, pegs. So those areas were super glued. Uh, everything else uh, glued then puttied with uh, squadron putty. Uh, a few touch-ups were needed after priming but uh, without any issue managed to get this kit together. A lot of uh, rubber piping is uh, scattered throughout the model and that was a bit tricky to uh, paint and weather. Unfortunately not being permanent it will rub off if uh, constantly touched so not a big fan of that either. But it's not all doom and gloom. This is a very unique design of mobile suit. I'm a big fan of it and willing to go through the hardships of uh, getting not one but two versions of this uh, kit in a built finished form. The detail is absolutely lovely. The proportions are a bit boxy. So a lot of our putty work has gone around to smooth it, round it out and make it more Gaza D looking than Gaza C. The other one out of the box. I'll stop talking about that because it's going to get its own uh, video and uh, work in progress uh, series. This one had intentions of being in a diorama. The uh, concept was uh, somewhere in the foot of uh, snowy mountains in the monks of uh, trees covered in the snow by uh, the top so if you have any bird eye view aircraft flying over you wouldn't see it though due to its way of being a shelter easily discovered on foot. The diorama was constructed on top of a picture frame the silver base was uh, quite nice on a piece of uh, styrene sheeting. The uh, hill areas was uh, sculpted up using uh, leftover balsa wood and uh, the kit in a favourable position. I love how it transforms from mobile armour to mobile suit. So a bit of a Macross feel and a Jaywalker look. I kind of went for uh, that pose. Uh, traced out the feet with a texture, texture and constantly refitted it to the base making sure debris, trees, uh, the ground earth footing wasn't being interfered as well as adding magnets for further stability. The uh, balsa wood was bulked up to make a, the height and shape of the hill I liked and filled out with putty for definition and the general shape the earth's going to be. I also went to the railway store and online got some lovely German long coat figures in 1 to 144 scale in a neutral pose. They will be on a small ledge looking up at the mobile suit and are uh, painted in Xeonic colours. Uh, trees were uh, bought mostly for its shape. A lot of trees look quite cheap and nasty, not desirable cover. Glued down to the base and uh, I was able to actually prime and paint them later. They're just sponge and plastic, uh, of course focusing on the trunks. 
on top of uh, the whole base, a uh, layer of PVA glue, sprinkled some sand, uh, painted, airbrushed, weathered the whole base, uh, multi-tone colours of uh, dirts and earths to uh, give it its look. Later on, uh, sprinkling um, baking soda, a bit of black paint and lots of white paint for that uh, white look. The kit was modified, painted and uh, very similar weathering done. The modification of the Gaza seam to the Gaza D itself mostly used Tamir extra quick dry type putty. It is extremely smooth, mixed together like a lot of other uh, two-part epoxies and uh, beautifully adheres and smooths out on uh, plastic. You can pretty much do a first round sculpt, a little sanding and it sits uh, quite nicely, making sure when you're smoothing and sculpting you keep your hands quite wet and uh, made for a very quick job. A metal pole was also scratch built with some sort of a surrender flag telling a story of what it previously did before it was deactivated. Another reason why I'm a big fan of the uh, pose in the mobile suit, I wasn't a big fan of removing a limb, so I cut off as little as humanly possible and hit it in half uh, mobile armor mode underneath its uh, wing or shield. A couple of dremeled holes and putty for uh, battle damage as well as uh, painting, uh, pre post shading, chip weathering and a lot of white uh, applied on top to blend it all together. What I most enjoy looking and building vignettes, dioramas, is sort of uh, the presence or telling of the story. And uh, the theme of this competition definitely uh, demanded and called out for uh, a diorama. And a lot of the entries in this competition group build uh, did that uh, exactly. Now, during the busy time uh, exiting from the Gunpla Builders World Cup, I probably only had exactly one month to smash this together, including um, an intensive uh, education uh, short course. And this is a great way for me to unrelieve uh, stress and whatnot. But there's a few elements of this model that has been a bit rough, uh, mostly during the construction phase. And uh, spent a little more time uh, painting it. A lot of floors were able to be hidden from the dusting on of the uh, snow and uh, baking soda. All in all, my uh, mission statement or... Uh, goal in uh, building this or the general idea and imagination I had was uh, something that's uh, been used, damaged, not quite fit for battle and for some reason uh, needed to be used as uh, the command unit in uh, surrendering or uh, making itself known to the, endering, um, to the enemy signifying the end of a conflict. Now time has passed, it's been stuck in its uh, position from the last uh, significant point in um, history that it has been used and symbolised. Uh, got lost due to snow building up on it, middle of a hilly forest, and uh, mysteriously discovered as shelter by two officers uh, wandering around. Other people who do look at it get uh, different stories or interpretations, but uh, that's the general gist. Um, quite pleased with the finished results is uh, far from perfect especially from a close-up personal inspection though considering time restraints I can't complain at all the results of the competition uh, this uh, one the other models were very very uh, competitive as well and uh, it was an absolute uh, ball. Anyone who does live in Australia, I highly recommend the Gunpla Builders uh, Forum or GundamForum.com.au. Uh, pretty generous prizes, friendly bunch. Though the, the group builds are always fun and travels or attracts a lot of people from the uh, community. All of that aside, Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have uh, enjoyed this uh, video and this uh, build. I was also requested uh, to write a article for uh, an online application magazine that will be coming out soon, mostly focusing on the diorama building aspect of this uh, model. I'll uh, make it known via uh, Facebook. Uh, 
thank you very much for watching. Of as always, until next time, we'll uh, continue to post content here on a weekly basis and catch you guys next time.